everybody and today I have got an unboxing for you. John, the owner of bookcase.club uh, book subscription uh, service got a hold of me the end of last month and asked me if I would be willing to do another unboxing for his uh, subscription box and I said sure I would. The last ones I, I quit the subscription service because of the content. It was more young adult than it was adult. It's supposed to be an adult paranormal books is what I ordered. And these were more, definitely more young adult and they were all the same genre. There weren't, um, it was all magic and witches and that kind of stuff. So let's, let's, without further ado, let's open this bookcase.club. This is the way it comes. You open it up and the books are wrapped. There is a deal in here. It says bookcase.club. Be sure to tag us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Book date at bookcase.club uh, with hashtag BCC Unboxing. And there is all the information there in case you would like to get a hold of them. And it's a uh, delicious autumn. My very soul is wedded to it. And if I were a bird, I would fly about the earth seeking the successful autumns. George Eliot. And then in here it says, October is a wonderful month full of unique colors and smells. Despite how crisp the air has turned, you can't help but want to be outside. Just don't forget to take one of our new reads out with you to enjoy also. Happy Fall, and this is from Shailene. She is the person who boxed this. And then it tells you a little bit about the books over here. All right, this first one is also, I noticed, an autographed copy. And this is Exquisive Captive by Heather Dimitrios. And there she signed it. That's pretty cool. I love to have autographed copies. And I will read to you what this is about. It's the cover. Okay. Ginny, Empress, Warrior, Slave. Nalia is a Ginny of tremendous ancient power, the only survivor of a coup that killed nearly everyone she loved. Stuffed into a bottle and sold by a slave trader, she's now in hiding on the dark caravan the lucrative Ginny slave trade between Arginia and Earth, where Jinn are forced to grant wishes and obey their human master's every command. She'd give almost anything to be free of the golden shackles that bind her to the Malik, her cruel master, and his lavish Hollywood lifestyle. Enter Rafe, the enigma enigmatic leader of Arginia's revolution and Nalia's sworn enemy. He promises to release Nalia from her master so that she can return to her ravaged homeland and free her imprisoned brother, all for an unbearably high price. Nalia is not sure she can trust him, but Rafe's her only hope to escape. With the enemies on the hunt, Earth has become more perilous than ever for Nalia. There's just one catch. For Rafe's unbinding magic to work, Nalia must gain possession of her bottle and keep the dangerously persuasive Malik from trapping her inside it. Battling a dark past and harboring a terrible secret, Nalia soon realizes her freedom may come at too terrible a cost. In this gorgeous fantasy, Heather Dimitrios brings to life a deliciously seductive world where a wish can become a curse and shadows are sometimes safer than light. It sounds like um, Genie in a Bottle type, bo type reading. It does not sound too bad. It says, When Heather Demetrios isn't traipsing around the world or spending time in imaginary places, she lives with her husband in New York City. Originally from Los Angeles, she now calls the East Coast home. Heather received her MFA in writing for children and young adults from Vermont College of Fine Arts and is a recipient of the pen of New England Susan D. Bloom Discovery Award for her debut young adult no novel, Something Real. 
She is the founder of Live What You Want, an organization dedicated to fostering passion in people of all ages and crafting writing opportunities for youth and limited econo of limited economic means. You can visit Heather online at www.heatherdemetrios.com. And it also tells you that you can follow her on Facebook and stuff like that. I am going to have to look at this um, and see how old this girl is. Because if this is young adult, I'm not going to be happy about this again. Because there is a separate young adult novels deal. It sounds like a good book, but if it's young adult, I don't want to read it. So I will double check that and I will let you know, okay? All right, the next book, I love the cover of this one. Texas Gothic, Rosemary Clement Moore. Look at that green eye. Isn't that gorgeous? That is such a pretty cover. Let's uh, read what this says about exquisite, cap exquisite captive first. Sometimes the shadows are safer than the light. Nalia is a Jenny that was captured and sold into slavery when her home planet was attacked. Now she's on earth and forced to obe obey her human master's every command. When an enemy officer offers her escape, she must decide if the price of freedom is too high. Okay, so let's read about Texas Gothic. The light was the burning blue of a gas flame, and in the incandescent can center... Sorry, I'm going to start over. The light was the burning blue of a gas flame, and in the incandescent center was the hazy outline of a man, washed out and blinding, but cold, cold as a gravestone, iced by a winter moon. I couldn't move at all, not to run, not to even speak. It was the awful paralysis of a nightmare. Maybe I was dreaming. I couldn't, I could half convince myself of it except for the dog's breath breathing their quivering muzzles and the stinging chill of my bare arms and neck. Features molded out of shadow, the hint of a nose, a jawline, a mouth, the caricature, caricature of a gaunt face, then movement. An arm rose slowly as if straining against the pull of death to reach me, and the dark hole of a mouth worked in horrific, soundless desperation as the hollow eyes fixed on my face. Wow. For Amy, normal is everything, but normal doesn't exactly mix with magic. She has built up a wall between her normal life and her magic. She thinks she gets her chance at normal when her aunt asks her to house sit at her farm. Unfortunately, the house has a powerful presence living in it that has taken an interest in Amy, and none of her family's spells are strong enough to fight it. Will she ever accept who she is? Wow. So these don't sound too bad. I am going to check the ages of the, the ladies inside, though, and I will let you know. I so thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you, John, for contacting me. And I will let you know my full review after I read the books. Thank you. Bye.